What's up guys, how you guys doing? This is Ray and in this video I want to show you how to set up the Project Mix I.O. to work with Studio One. Now the Project Mix I.O. wasn't configured to work with Studio One when it was developed and made at the time. Now this device isn't supported or being made anymore, but it still works. Here's the thing, if you own one, then you know by holding down these options here, you have aux 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. If you hold down one while turning on the device, it's gonna boot up into Pro Tools mode. If you hold on aux 2, it's gonna boot into Cubase mode. Three, four, it has other modes. But in this case, it doesn't have a Studio One mode. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold down aux 2, turn on the device, and we're gonna boot up into Cubase mode. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this camera, and hopefully, hopefully you guys can see the display. So I'm gonna hold down aux 2, power on the device, and let's see what happens. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, it's in Cubase mode. There you go, the light's in the way. So it's in Cubase mode. So all we need to do is open Studio One and configure the software. Let's do that. With all that said, let's dive into it. So before we load a session, what we wanna do, we wanna come to the Studio One, tab go to options and want to make sure you click external devices tab then come to add now you do have an m audio folder here but guess what what we need isn't there so what we want to do we want to close that folder we want to come to mackie and in mackie we have three options here but the option we need control once you highlight control you want to come to receive from Click the drop down window. You want to select Project Mix Control Surface MIDI. Send to, click the drop down window, Project Mix Control Surface MIDI. So it's basically the same thing. Press OK. Press OK. Now, all we need to do is either create a new session or load a recent one. And I'm going to load a recent session. I don't know if you heard that, but the master fader is active, which is really weird. I'm so used to working with. Uh, tools the master fader really never works but in studio one it does work and to be honest with you guys i will ignore that fader anyway like i really don't touch the master fader but it's a good thing to actually see that fader come to life so if you're wondering what works and what doesn't pretty much everything works check it out i'm bringing up the faders bringing them down the rotary knobs work trust me my keyboard's on top of the control surface so i don't really want to move it don't want to press any of the other buttons but everything pretty much works the scrub works uh the zoom option works. It's good to go. All you need to do, press play, start recording, or start mixing. So basically, that's how you set up the Project Mix I.O. to work with Studio One. And here's the thing. If you have a Project Mix I.O. and you don't want to use the interface portion of the Project Mix I.O., because you got to remember, this thing is an interface slash control surface all in one. You might just be interested in the faders. You can still go to the settings, and when you go to audio setup, over here in audio devices, just select the interface that you want instead of the M-Audio's Firewire uh, ASIO setup. And basically, you should be okay. If you really enjoyed this video, you see that thumbs up button, click it. First time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. At the same time, I want you to check the description. There's going to be some information there regarding the subject that we spoke about. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. I'm always posting a lot of information there. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.